Hello guys, this is Joe, a technical engineer from Wacom. Today, I want to introduce the Wacom server to you. Now, let me show you more detail. Here is a simple example, it's really serious. And these are the server's interface. And now, let me start from the power port. And this port, this port, is the power supply. Power supply port of the server's driver, which is used to power the server driver and the LED. And this part is the power supply part of the server server motor. U V W are used to power the server motor, and the P plus C and D are used to connect the brake resistor. If you want to use the building resistor, you need to sh uh, shoot shoot. C and D. The next part is the communi communications interface. We start from the CN1. Here is the CN1. CN1 is the encoder's uh, connection terminal. It is it is easy to understand. And the the CN uh, and this is the CN2. CN2. Is an input and output communication uh, uh, controlled terminal. For example, PLC can do this interface to control the server to make the motor do some operation. And next is the CN3. The CN3 is a RS422 port. This port is only used for communication between the server and the PC. Not for the communication with other device, so you need to pay attention. As through this port, the PC can read and write the server parameters and the self turning through the Wacom uh, server configurator. Okay, and the last one is CN4. CN4 is a RS485 port. This port can be used to communication with other devices, such as Wacom PLC or Wacom HMI. And we can use the Wacom HMI to read the parameter of the server. And it can uh, expose the model bus communications protocol and the communications uh, and, the communi and, the, and the communication parameters can be uh, modified and the last part is the display panel the display panel can display a total of four models the first model is status uh, displayed and the second model is the parameter display and the third model is arrow display and the last one is monitoring display we can use this M button to switch the model double click, double click the M button we can enter the monitoring display and these two buttons can be used to modify parameters and these buttons can be used to shift and the last button is a enter button okay now i would like to show you the internal of the server first we need to remove the shell After you remove the ship, 
you will see three PCB board and the middle one is the interface board okay and uh, this one left one is the control board and the right one is the power board right one okay okay that's all thank you for your watching